Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a shadow brush. That is, I'm going to teach you the basics of creating a shadow brush, and then you can actually convert any of these brushes into a shadow brush. Um, not any of these brushes basically, but some of these brushes work really well with the shadow brush technique, but not all of them. So you'll have to experiment a little bit. So this is what we are going to create. And this brush will look something like this. Are you ready? So let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign here and select square. Let's go ahead and remove the background by clicking on this button here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose white. So you can go to classic and bring this all the way up so that you have white. Now let's go ahead and go to some calligraphy brush like monoline. This is the default one that you get with the Procreate app. Now we're going to draw a circle as big as this. So when you come and join this point here, make sure you click and hold. And if the circle is not completely round, you can actually press like this or wherever you want and make sure it is completely round and then let it go. Now you have a perfect circle. Okay, let's do that again so that you can see it very well. So I'm just going to expand this to show you guys. I'm just going to draw a circle, click and hold. And it's going to make a circle, but might not be really nice. So I'm just going to click here so that it forms a nice circle. And that's exactly what we need. Click and drag to pull it and fill the white color. Let's go ahead here and click on duplicate. Go to alpha lock. Click on here. Let's go here and let's scroll down a little bit to a grayish color. So that depends on how dark you want your shadow to be. I'm just going to keep it somewhere here somewhere in the center and if you want to know exactly what this is this is 7f 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 and then i'm just going to go here and click click on fill layer so we have both of these ready now we're going to go ahead and bring this dark circle around the white one so before doing that i'm just going to click on the white circle click on the arrow here and bring it up a little bit because my idea is to have the shadow in this direction so I'll show you how you can arrange the shadows and it'll create a different kind of an effect. For example, the one that I showed you today, uh, that is this one. You can see the shadow is on this side. You can also put the shadow on the right side or the bottom, or you can make it however you want. Now let's go ahead to the gray layer, click, and I'm going to drag it and put it so that it just touches the edge of the white circle. Now you can go ahead and merge these two like this. You can just pinch it and it merges the layer. Now click on this and if you want, you can increase the size right now. And now if you feel like you want the shadow on the other side, you can always use this button to rotate it like this. Simple. I'm just going to keep it the way it was. Okay. Once you have that ready, now it's time to export this. So click on this wrench right here. Click on share and PNG. And we'll save this image. Now let's go ahead and uncheck this and it's time to create the brush out of it. So I'll just click on new layer and I'll turn the background layer on just so that things are much clearer and nicer. And let's increase the size of this. So let's go ahead and I'll show you again for the brush pen. I'm just going to delete this. Delete. Now just swipe it towards the left and click on duplicate. And when you do a duplicate, you see this procreate symbol come up. That means that this is the duplicated version. This is the original. So just click on that and we'll go to shape. So we're going to change this shape out here. If you're using the iPad in the portrait mode, uh, this one actually comes up somewhere here. Whatever you do, just click on edit. And let's click on import, import a photo. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in that shape that we created right now and click on done. And now you can see it's immediately updated. I'm just going to go ahead and check with the pink one. Let me, yeah, this should be fine. And you can see the awesome shadow here. So now if I go ahead and choose yellow, you can see the shadow is also a shade of yellow as well, because this is incorporated into the brush. So basically you can create the same effect in different kinds of brushes as well. Maybe let's try this. A 
oops this is a very weird <laughs> this is not showing the effect that we really want but yeah it's something different there you go you can also choose the rendering options and stuff like that to modify those things let me just go ahead rendering and let's see here choose a blue there you go that looks perfect let's choose a color and i'm going to draw something like this you see this neon color that looks nice and let's go ahead and choose yellow and see what happens there you go so basically i created some of these which i usually use you don't have to use these just for the calligraphy brushes it works for other brushes as well perfectly fine and you can adjust this brightness like i said by you choosing the gray color like as light or as dark as you want and i created one more in this inker brush so i'm just gonna increase this um, let's see so it gives it that nice textured shadow you can also use it to color some things like you know blocks or something like this and it'll look good as well so yeah there's so many things you can do with this particular brush so one basic thing is to obviously create a shadow brush and it works really well with this brush pen There you go. There you go. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I know it was a really tiny tutorial, but I just wanted to show you that you can create the shadow technique without having to actually create two different set of lettering and moving it aside a little bit to create the shadow effect. I hope you like this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions like Procreate related, Illustrator related, or even Adobe Fresco related, don't forget to leave a comment below and uh, I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. Okay, I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.